Hey, that's huge. 86 and 90. And good job. I hope you're going to see more on Saki this episode, but I feel like not yet, you know? With what happened in the last episode, like the ending. <laughs> He's fine, can he not even sneeze anymore? Oh, you... Okay, I was about to say you don't need to take that off. <laughs> ぶりにバスケてきてたのしいし気にしないでおおなあの I feel like my tear is cut out, she doesn't really love it. Oh. Maybe? I don't know. That's the big answer. Let's go. <laughs> we all did. <laughs> it's just that finally he, he accepted it, you know? So sad. He's fine. He might not be the right person. It might be not the right time. That's not how love works. That's so sad. Oh my god. He might be a special person or not. <laughs> Only time will tell. But you don't have to rush things. I'm glad that these two like they're definitely going to be very close, even though, like, no matter who Mark turns up with, if he's going to end up with one of them. And at least nice that, like, she told someone, you know, she did not have to hold it to herself anymore. Oh, <laughs> that was so sad. What are you sorry about? <laughs> Nah, it's not. <laughs> I knew he's going to think that. <laughs> nah, nah. How is that a nuisance? You can't be friends with someone who's dating? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's not talk about that. I mean, that was a solid excuse. What else you wanted him to say? Oh. Imagine if he confesses that'd be crazy, but I think it's happening that early. Okay. So, is there anyone you like? She's a great friend. Oh, no, that's not what's happening here. Oh my god. Oh It'd be crazy if you told him. That would be the most insane thing to happen at episode 5. I feel like it's not even going to happen this season. Oh, you know him very well. <laughs> Better than anyone else, in fact. <laughs> Oh 
<laughs> Why you gotta be so aggressive with it? How did, how, how did you come to that conclusion? Oh my. Yeah, you should guys not go in the roof anymore. I wonder when he's going to come to the realization that this is not what's happening. I mean, nah, he's fine with it. It's just more comfortable, like, you know, that it doesn't fall off or anything. Hey, and that's the best rule you could live by. Everyone should live by that rule, actually. <laughs> Glad that people are warming up to him. <laughs> hey, you even picked the nosebleed. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much you. But maybe she's not trying to shake her feelings anymore. She's, be she's just being clear with it. Mm. Your feelings are like a whale, while hers is a dolphin. <laughs> That's a weird analysis to have, like, but yeah. Aww. <laughs> She's so cute. I don't know. I hope all of you, like, find your loves. That's it. Right? That's also, like, kind of not fair, but at the same time, she doesn't feel anything for him. She's just pretending to do. Yeah. She's a great actor, though. That's for sure. And that's because... <laughs> uh, okay, there's nothing new yet. I I'm not sure. Wait, did they see who you're texting? No. And the person reads your messages. Is either your mom or your dad? Like one of the two. Hmm. She always like tried pleasing people. She could not even be herself. <laughs> okay, that's not how it should work. You can form your own opinion. You don't have to listen to people. She literally tried to doing like what pe the things that people would like her for, you know, and it goes back to grandma as well. It's like trying to love Makoto because the grandma would like that. And you'll find it. Probably. I mean, there are some people who don't find it special during their whole life, you know, but... I'm really starting to like um, Saki. She might be my favorite out of the trio. Everyone is special in their own ways though. And that's like not a good enough reason to love someone because they are different than anybody else, let's say. Ah, that's crazy, 
They should think of herself like as a nuisance. I feel like that's the case. あと私先輩のこと諦めることにしました。そう。なんだ。もう先輩のこと困らせるようなこと言わないので安心してください。困ってないよ。I hate when people do that. Like when they just smile to your face even though they are going through something. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this episode? Oh, it's ending. I'm so glad I watched it today. I was thinking about doing a double reaction, but nah, I'd be cooked for the next one. <laughs> That was fantastic. It might be one of my favorite episodes so far, actually. It gave way more depth to um, uh, Saik Saki's, yeah, Saki's character. And, like, she, she might be my favorite from the show so far, actually. I'm also really glad that, like, Ryuji finally accepted that he likes Makoto. But he said that, like, it's not going to work anyways because we are both guys. And uh, that's not what people, like, tell of a happy family should be like you know it should be it should consist of a woman and a man and like yeah that's something we've been fed during since our childhood everyone i feel like be it on tv and the media or just in family in general you know so that sucks but i hope he's going to come around like i hope this whole situation actually works out for him whether it be with Makoto or someone else and about sake oh that that hit hard that hit really hard <laughs> so she never really found anyone to love you know to find um she never found her special person let's say it like that uh and she she's also very young she's like 15 so you have plenty of time to do that it doesn't have to be now but there's this pressure when you're especially in school you know and all the people around you are dating and stuff and like it kind of forces you into a relationship it might force you uh into a relationship you don't really want to be in just because everyone around is doing this so you know it ha you have to follow them to not stay behind let's say it like that and uh that's not how it should be she also i feel like she's a people pleaser you know she wants everyone around her to be happy just as she said so like they don't push her away but you should just form your own opinions and like have your own thoughts you don't have to follow other people you don't have to be that with them if you don't like them and you don't have to please them you only have one life and like you have to live to the fullest you have to live for yourself not for others I mean, it's nice to do things for others as well, you know, but like, you don't have to do things that you don't want to do, actually, just because they would not like you. And then she says, Ryuji, I'm rooting for both of you. Ah, oh, that was so sad. She's like, my, I know that my feelings can't compare to your feelings that you have. Mine is basically a dolphin while yours is a whale. I kind of like that analogy. It's weird. It just, I don't know. <laughs> I like it. And while... That might be true because like Ryuji knows him for way longer than you do, right? It's still not okay to like undermine your feelings, let's say it like that. If you have any for Makoto actually and you're not pretending, you know? But we also don't really know if that's the case because like... She talked with Ryuji and she said that she doesn't really like him. She just wants to like him because like he's, he's different, he's special to her. She hasn't seen anyone like this before from what I understood, right? And like she never felt so interested in someone as she felt about Makoto. But like that's not enough for you to fall in love with that person, you know? And if you don't, that's fine. You can be good friends. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> but <laughs> I just feel very sad for her because she, I bet she feels like very alone, you know? And all these people have their love interests and stuff and she doesn't. So yeah, that that's my main point of the discussion. And yeah, she said she is going to give up on trying to fall in love with Mat Makoto, I mean, um, which, yeah, 
that's i don't know why that it's so hard probably because she was trying to fall in love you know she it's not like it it should come naturally it's a feeling that should just be there once you like actually like the person and for her she has to try to do that but it might be because it's not the right person it might be because you did not have an, enough time together yet and you still have plenty to spend but now that she also knows that like ryuji likes him uh, it's way different because Ryuji is her friend like she also probably doesn't want to steal him let's say from his friend just because of her selfish needs you could say it's not selfish but like just so she could please her grandmother you know she doesn't really like him but yeah that that's it that's it for this episode uh this was phenomenal I actually really really enjoyed it it might be my favorite episode from this season actually very sad but at the same time very very good so hey you're fine he did not put the two and two together oh wait maybe he did put two, two and two together maybe he's probably there just to visit him though better now that you're here <laughs> Yeah, you should probably like wear a mask or something, no? Trust me, he doesn't know. It's not that thing you think it, no. <laughs> Why you gotta stress him out like that? Oh, wait, it is about that. Watch him say, is it Saki again? He's going to say it's Saki, isn't it? Okay, okay, you're, you're literally going to kill him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, you're going to tell him? Imagine if he, like, spills it out now. Accidentally. Why? Why did you have to interrupt it at this moment? You had a whole five seconds to say anything. The moment he started speaking, you have to speak? Okay. We were so close. Okay. Okay, bro. <laughs> hey, dude, you'll get it next time. I'm sure. Nah, he's just dead. <laughs> oh. Why do you have to distance yourself from them? That's that's sad. And there's no reason to do it. <laughs> he would have told you yesterday. Yeah. That's what usually happens after school. Oh, so they are like in 11th grade, right? That's a great question. I feel like he's supportive. Uh -huh. But...考えて考えて誠が幸せになるためにお父さんはどう手伝えばいいのかずっと考えるよ母さんはきっと戸惑うだろうが父さんが何とかするよおおいっそうでやるとしてライクグッアニメダンスアクチュアクチュアクチュア
Hey, let's go. Thank you for the win. She just indirectly answered the question that he's been has been bugging him. You can don't don't pick the same universe as Makoto. Unless like you really want to go there, not just because of Makoto. Also, you can still see your like each other outside of it, you know. Oh, that's what he meant. I'm like not going to see you anymore anyway, so like might as well tell my feelings. And you know what? That's that's kind of valid. But you still got a whole year together. You should still do it. Like yeah, <laughs> just letting you know. <laughs> He doesn't know. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, are you watching the same same show? Okay, all of three of them are watching the same show. And all of them are finding like different meanings inside of it. Oh. Besides her. She did find a meaning like it was kind of depressing. A haunted house sounds cool. I don't know how effective it would be in school, but sounds cool. It's not this otherworldly being that can communicate in human language, you know? He, I mean, he never really was. In a way, everyone's special. But he's also just a person, that's it. What is that? Oh, different team or something? What? Oh, are those people like the one who drew the red stick? Are the ones who have to help preparing things, maybe? Look who's speaking, you yourself are great actually. <laughs> yeah, I remember being real bad with it. I mean, this is... Oh. I think... I think he might like her, actually. Oh god, please don't let this be like, oh, no, I don't know what this, if it becomes like, Ryuji has one-sided feelings, you know, and uh, yeah, then like, Makuto likes Asake, then yeah, this this is going to be depressing. We'll see, maybe we'll make it work somehow. <laughs> oh, a maid cafe? <laughs> Full power based. Hey, that's actually really cool. <laughs> you guys are ruthless. How did it turn out? Show me. Well, it's kind of funky, but you know what? It's not too bad. Alright. Good luck scaring people. <laughs> I don't know. That is one right here. <laughs> he just wants to see him in in, in main dress. <laughs> Wait, you were the star of the show actually. What's that? Oh, oh, wait, 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 they are going to end the episode, they are going to end the episode, oh my god, why, why? <laughs> he saw it, didn't he? He did? Did you? He did, he definitely did, oh my god, oh my god, I can't, <laughs> oh 
why? 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 I should have waited. I should have waited for the next episode to come out. Because, like, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> okay, what? What? Okay, okay, okay. Give me a minute. First of all, I don't think it's going to go badly. I feel like uh, they might play it off, actually, of it, you know, Ryuji? But how do you even play that off? Especially since I think it's him sleeping, isn't it? Yeah, it's him either he's sleeping or, like, he's just resting, one of the two. But, like, how do, how do you play that off? I don't know. You're my great friend, that's why I have a picture of you, but like then, where is the picture of Saki, you know? But like, he, they are childhood friends, so they are greater friends. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to make up excuses for him, but like, yeah, we'll see how that plays out. But maybe it's good, maybe it's going to push, like, it in the right direction, you know? Ryocha actually almost told Makoto how he feels, but then... He got interrupted by him, which which sucks. But yeah, by the end of it, we came we came full circle, and now like it actually might happen. Who knows? I also was really happy to see that Makoto has like his dad. I thought he was like he's very supportive of anything his son wants to do, you know. And like he said, I will do anything to make you happier, and that is what a parent should be like, you know. You should like help your child feel like he can be whatever he wants let's say and support him on that unless like it actually hurts you know him or like the person like this doesn't hurt anyone so yeah i'm kind of the thing is also but like i'm kind of getting the vibes that makoto maybe likes uh sake but i also don't know if if if, if i'm getting the right vibes from it uh, cause if that's the case, then yeah, this conversation we're about to have is not going to go very well, is it? Yeah, I don't know. This, this episode was very, <laughs> actually the episode itself was really good. I love this show. This show is really, really, really good. Like it's probably one of my favorites that's airing this season. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how that conversation is going to go. Okay. Let's see. You definitely saw it. There's also a possibility that he's going to pretend like he didn't see it. Forgot to mention that the last episode. I feel like that's what's going to happen actually. And then he might start thinking about it. I wonder when he actually started developing his feelings, you know, for him. よく寝れるんだよね。うん。そっか。中学に入って不良っぽい同級生の一人がピアスを開けてきた。Because and that probably started resonating with him. That he like might feel this way. Mm -hmm. When did you two reconnect then? Actually it might be this year. Maybe. He tried to distance himself from him, so that like, he thought his feelings would fade away, you know? Not how it works. Usually. Actually, sometimes it does. Oh wait, so... You've been trying to hide it? It is weird to me how like, people would not know about it. I mean, they found out eventually, but still. Mm. That's because of, like, what all the people around him said. I discussed about this in some other episode, I can't remember which one it was. That, like, it's, yeah, what was that? It is basically all around the media, you know? Uh, struggles, blah blah blah, and so on. Yeah. Mm, and that's when the rumor started to, to spread. Not really a rumor. 
<laughs> that is wild. I'm glad that, like, at least he had Ryuji. So they don't pick you as the next target, I guess. <laughs> oh, and that's why you pierce the. Oh. I can't take this. <laughs> He's like, we can be weirdos together. <laughs> that's what it takes. Oh. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> what did your parrot think about it all? Oh, that's where he got a picture from. He took that from them, probably. Not probably, he did take it from them. Damn. It's understandable. When you take took this picture for yourself. Back to reality? Uh, okay. He's playing it off. What? I told you. I don't know if he actually didn't see it or he, I feel like he's just pretending he didn't, you know? Just to save the trouble. I don't believe it for a moment. Maybe he should have. Where do okay, he knows, right? Yeah, he definitely saw it. Is he going to piece the two and two together finally? Now, you think about it, how? It's not. <laughs> Definitely don't blame yourself. If there's anything to blame anything, anyone for. This really depends on how you feel about it yourself. But now that he like pushed it off, you know, it's kind of would be weird to bring it back again. And uh, yeah, but to be honest, if you don't like him, it, it it would be the best to just reject him so like he could move on, you know? Now he's going to be overthinking everything. He's going to be too aware of Ryuji. This, this is literally just how Ryuji was in the middle school, you know? Let's just hope that like Makoto doesn't try to distance himself from, from him. Also, we have not seen Saki. This episode yet. Asking for a friend. Classic. <laughs> it is also different when, like, it is a girl in a guy's, let's say, you know, picture, and uh, and there are two guys, obviously, but like he can't really tell the full story or context, so he can't really get the right answer. I mean, it's partially this is right what she said. It is, it, it probably is what it is, you know. He doesn't really want to ruin the friendship and stuff. Please don't do this. <laughs> I mean, that's fine if you're actually going there, but if you're trying to distance yourself, uh, then I don't know. Oh, that's... Uh-huh, okay, I was about to say, so Ryuji is just going to figure it out. Let's talk. Let's just talk it out. You're not very good at hiding things. <laughs> right? Yeah, please say that what now? 
What now? There's no way back. Oh, I just got goosebumps. <laughs> this is like a big deal. Not this again. He liked you before you were dressed like this. I don't want them to just like separate, you know? Even though now to date, but you can still be friends. It's going to be kind of weird for some time at least. Because of like what just happened, but we can we can push it through it somehow. Oh, that was sad. The thing is, he didn't really reject him. That's that's kind of I don't know. He said, "I'm sorry for dressing like this." Yeah, she did. At this rate, you might fall as well. Is that what you're about to say? Oh, hello. He's not at school? Where did he go to? What? He might be in the roof, maybe. Maybe? I hope nothing bad. Okay, nothing bad's happening though, right? <laughs> My mind went to a bad place for a moment. Okay, that's good. It's fine, you can skip school once. What if you find someone else? There's also that possibility. You know, you kind of like need to deal with your feelings. As hard as it might be, but it's kind of required if you want to move on. Guys, I'm scared every moment. <laughs> okay, he's going to be there, right? On the other side, probably. Oh. This episode is very intense, I'll tell you that. Right, he doesn't want you to, to like... Oh? For real, for real. <laughs> I mean, he does. I, honestly, he would prefer if it didn't happen, you know. But like, it's it's complicated. It's very complicated. Yeah, I don't know if I I'm happy or what. <laughs> My emotions are very mixed right now. I'm like happy that it all worked out eventually, you know. But I'm kind of sad that like Kiriji even has to deal with these thoughts. I mean. I guess Makoto as well now. Oh my fucking god, can we get a break this episode? Is she... did... You can't just skip to this... happy moment, whatever is happening right now? I literally can't focus on this. Someone needs to go to sake. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> She's here, please know this, please know this, please know this, please know this. She can't. He, he doesn't even know it's now because like, he's, he's, he's in different planets. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? This was terrible. <laughs> it's in the best way. I was so right when I said this, this show is going to have so much drama. When I watched this trailer, this episode was, oh, I, this episode was a lot. So we got a little, not a little, we got a flashback to their whole childhood, basically. How they became, not how they became friends, but like how they were as a friends when they were children. And in middle school and stuff, you know, and like, Ryuji always admired him. Let's say, always, um, Makoto made him happy all the time, you know, ever since their childhood days. So it is understandable why he would fall for a person like that, and, uh, 
then Makoto tried to just brush it off like he didn't see it, but I mean, you can't really hide that fact, you know, he was like being avoidant of him, let's say, he was, uh, basically he was afraid of him touching him even, you know, when he said he won't want to take the dirt off your hair, so yeah, and the Makoto is not a great liar, we know that, so eventually it did come out of the bag, and uh, it's good that it did, I mean, it is good, but it's also now, you know, like, how are you going to manage this? Because obviously they are not going to go public about it, you know? So, either they're going to be, like, sneaking out at night or something like that. And, uh, I don't know. I just don't know. Saki, I mean, Saki would be okay with it. But now, Saki has to deal with her own stuff. I don't know what happened to the grandma. I just hope she's, like, hospitalized or something. And, you know, she's, like, going to be okay during these episodes. And I do hope that Makoto or Yoji, one of those two, actually notices it. Because, like, right now, it's definitely, you know, it's the honeymoon phase, you could say. <laughs> they they don't have a kid in the world. I feel like before, Makoto would probably have noticed it. But it's also, like, maybe, I, ho I hope they will in the next episode. And, like, she's probably not going to show up in school. Or if she does, she's going to be, like, a shell of herself. So, yeah, I, I hope everything works out there. And, like, she, her grandma's going to be okay. Because that's... The only person she has left but yeah so ryuji and uh makoto are now officially dating i just feel like it's still not going to work out eventually because it's hard when you have to like hide feelings you know like hide feelings when you're in public and you can just be yourself and you're in private let's say uh i feel like that's not going to work out but we'll see maybe maybe it will i hope it will the good thing is that like it actually happened. The cat's out of the bag. He knows about it. And uh, yeah, he doesn't really have to think about it anymore. I mean, he does, but like not not think about what would happen if he confessed. You know, he knows what would happen if he confessed. Uh, and yeah, that was a phenomenal episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please consider subscribing. Also, leave your opinions down in the comments below. And I hope to see you in my next reaction. Bye.